to our Crazy Life Scotland and an Asda Grocery Haul. Today is Sunday the 30th of January 2022 and this was actually filmed yesterday the 29th of January and I give you the calories for most of the products because I'm now on a calorie counting journey and I will put the prices for the products on the screen for you. don't have the prices for the two Iceland products that I show you at the beginning so they won't be there but I've got all the prices for the Asda things. So enjoy watching this and I'll come back to you at the end. Right, we'll start with the frozen food. I got two of Brooke's um, Thin and Crispy Cheese and Tomato Pizza. She loves these. Just out of curiosity, half a pizza is 396 calories. I am, we're having a movie night tonight and I saw that, the Halo Top, which I do like, but 320 calories for the full tub, so I don't even need to measure it out and I can feel really indulgent sitting eating it out of the tub. So I got the sea salt caramel flavour and it was only £3 in Asda, but it's £5 in Morrison's. So yeah, definitely as that is the place to get it. They had other flavours as well, but I fancied the sea salt caramel. Ooh, yum. I was needing more frozen fruit, so I got the summer fruits. And this is 28 calories for 80 grams of the fruit defrosted. We wanted nice potato wedges. The only ones they had were the Asda seasoned potato wedges, so they'll do. These are 135 calories for a sixth of the pack, whatever that is. <laughs> um, that was all the frozen food from Asda, but we had wanted onion rings as well and they didn't have any. So when I was in Iceland looking for the Biscoff bars, the skinny whip Biscoff, which they didn't have by the way, I picked up some onion rings. So I got the Iceland battered onion rings. These are... 247 calories per 100 grams and I picked these up because when we were at Alton Tower Scarefest Abby and I had cheese and onion rings in the roller coaster restaurant and they were amazing so when I saw these I had to pick them up so it's cheese O's Monterey Jack and Cheddar Cheese Rings with chopped red onion wrapped in a crispy crumb and I thought they sound amazing these are slightly higher in calories because of the cheese, of course. So for 100 grams, they are 269 calories, which still wasn't too bad. Right, I'll put this away and I'll come back to you with the fresh stuff. Right, on to the meaty, mealy type things for the fridge. We got these for the dogs, the CWs. Um, yeah, we just freeze them for the dogs, but out of curiosity... 197 calories per 100 grams. We got some salmon. So this is the kiln roasted salmon fillets, two in a pack, sweet chilli flavour. And these are 249 calories per salmon fillet. And similarly, we got the same ones, but in the lively chipotle and honey flavour. And these are 232 calories per salmon fillet. Hopefully I'll get to eat mine this week since Villa stole it last week. Jack also got the oak smoked British gammon steaks dry cured. And there's two gammon steaks in there. They are 235 calories each. I got a couple of Weight Watchers meals, or sorry, WW meals, because they've got really good dates on them and they're handy to have in the fridge if I need them. Um, so this is the chilli con carne and potato wedges. I've had this before and it's lovely. And that is 303 calories for the packet. And this WW meal I've not had before, but it looks nice. It's butternut squash and spinach lasagna. <laughs> Sorry, the dog is pushing me in the wheelchair. Oh, it comes to something when you get pushed about by your dogs. Yeah, so it's a WW butternut squash and spinach lasagna that I've not tried before. It looks quite nice. And that is 256 calories for the pack. Hopefully I'll have better luck with them than I did the Slim and Moral meal, although I did enjoy the Slim and Moral lasagna. Talking about lasagna, Jack picked this up for his dinner tomorrow night and it's the Macintosh Beef and Haggis lasagna, which I thought sounded amazing. Minced beef and haggis in a tomato sauce spread over lasagna sheets topped with creamy bechamel sauce and cheddar cheese. And I thought, oh, that sounds so good. However, per serving, it's 523 calories. And I thought, mm, a bit much just for that one, uh, just for that one dinner. 
We got the ready to eat pork cocktail sausages, which are for the dogs treats. These are a uh, twelfth of the pack, which is God knows how many, for 143 calories. I fancied some soup for lunch for a wee change now and again, so I got the Scotty brand lentil soup, which I love. And it is the a hearty Scottish soup with lentils and carrots cooked in a ham stock. This is 58 calories for 100 grams and it's a 550 gram tub. I usually have half of that at a time. We got Brooks Feaster's cheeseburger that goes in the microwave. Ugh, she likes it. 379 calories for the burger. Tonight's dinner, we fancy a little bit of pizza. So Jack and I are going to share oh, 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 this fajita chicken pizza which looks lovely. I'm sure this is the one that I had the other day, actually I had half of it, and that is 310 calories for half the pizza, which is really pretty good. We're going to have that with some of those wedges, and we've got Abby the pepperoni pizza, which is 335 calories per half pizza, but she'll probably just have the full one. On to sides and fruit and veg, I've got the Albert Bartlett sweet potato fries, which Abby loves. They didn't have any last week. They are 270 calories for half the pack. I've got these to have with my salmon. So it's the root veg mash, which I thought actually sounded quite nice. It is seasoned mashed root veggies with potato, carrot, sweet parsnip, single cream and salty butter. And for 100 grams, there's 61 calories. So half of that, there's 122 calories, which will be lovely to go with my salmon. And similarly to go with the other bit of salmon, I got the sweet potato mash, which is 110 calories for half the pack. And that is sweet, pota sweet potato and potato mash with butter and seasoning. Fruit and veg. We didn't get much fruit this week because... Um, this fruit hasn't been great recently, but I do like pomegranate seeds in my porridge. So I've got a portion of the pomegranate seeds and that is an 80 gram tub. And per 100 grams, there's 100 calories. Jack picked up two of the carrot, cauliflower and broccoli that seems in the microwave. He has, um, it's supposed to serve two, but he has one packet instead of having potatoes or anything. For half a pack, 45 calories, which is pretty good. So yeah, he got two of them, and he also got two of these, which is baby corn, tender stem, broccoli, and fine beans. Again, it's meant to serve two, and for half the pack, it's 26 calories, which is fab. I got the crispy potato slices, as usual, for Abby as well. Brooks decided she doesn't like them. Uh, half a pack is 210 calories. And the last of the fruit and veg, we got a big hand of bananas. Uh, obviously the calories depend on the, the weight of the banana, so it's 84 calories per 100 grams. I wanted a dessert or like a snack thing for at night with my frozen fruit that was quite high in protein. So we picked up the Lindell's Farg and this is the raspberry. This is, uh, it's got 15 grams of protein per pot which is good and per pot there's 83 calories. So we got two of them and we picked up the Lindell's Pro Plus Farg, so it's quark I think. Um, 18 grams of protein in that and it's 50-50 whey protein and cas is it casein protein, don't know how you say it. And that's a lemon cheesecake flavour, so it's high protein, fat free and low sugar. And that has got 92 calories per pot, so that would be lovely for a wee change with the frozen fruit. But if I don't fancy that, I've got the fat-free Greek style yogurt again as well, which is 69 calories for a quarter of a pot. And we also got three of this size, which is the four pints of semi-skin milk, because Jack has a lot of milk for his shakes and things. We've got three of these. This is 50 calories per 100 mils. I have this in my porridge we got eggs 15 mixed weight free range eggs and they're all fine again the calories will probably depend on the weight of the egg right i'll put this away and come back to you with the cupboard stuff okay drinks now i got my usual pepsi max i got two raspberry and two lime because i do love them the raspberry is one calorie per 250 mils and the lime is 
two calories per 250 mils. I don't personally count the calories for my juice because it's, they're so little anyway. We've got some more diluting juice that has that lemon and lime concentrated, sugar free, well no added sugar. And per 250 mils made up, there's four calories in that. And I got a box of the Dolce Gusto Cappuccino because I've really been enjoying that. And it says there 86 calories per 240 mil, but the NutriCheck app tells me 82. So who knows? But yeah, oh, in fact, maybe not because that's the extra creamy one. So it might be slightly higher. So according to the box, there's 86 calories per made up portion. Okay, on to jars, tins and packets. Jars wise, I got a jar of Baxter's crinkled beetroot because I want to start having a wee bit extra veg with some of my meals and I do quite like beetroot. Typical values per 100 grams drained 30 calories, so it's going to be quite low. I'm quite sure the NutriCheck app will tell me um, how many calories of that that I'm having when I weigh it. I got the Ben's original sweet and sour sauce because I was inspired by Tracy the Mad Scots last um, Meals of the Week. Her and Ali, her son, like the sweet and sour chicken, but with the battered um, chicken nugget type things. Well, Tracy has a vegetarian version and I thought, oh, I really like the sound of that. So I got the original one that did have the sugar-free one and it was a lot lower in calories, but I thought, nah, I choose taste. So I went for the original and for this per 112 gram portion, there's 78 calories. So again, or 70 calories per 100 grams. Again, I'll just weigh it out as I go to use it and see how many calories. I fancied some beans just to keep in the house in case I fancy like beans on toast or I need something to go with any of my meals. And they're a good source of fibre as well. And one of your five a day. So per half a can, they are 168 calories. Again, they had the sugar-free ones, but I really don't like the, the no-added sugar type things. They taste really sweet, which sounds ridiculous, but it's the sweetener that they use. I fancied a some sweet corn, again, just to try to add a wee bit of veg to my plate because I do like sweet corn, and this is one of your five a day as well. For three tablespoons, there's 62 calories, and that sounds about right to me. Three tablespoons of sweet corn sounds perfect. My last tin was a tin of, tin of semolina because one of my viewers suggested some semolina with a spoonful of jam and I thought, oh yeah, that would hit the spot. I've not had semolina for ages. So I got this and for a for half a can, it's 160 calories, which isn't too bad. If you've got calories left at the end of the day and you fancy something nice and indulgent, that would be perfect. And the only packet that I got was this pasta and sauce. It was Jack that picked this up. Chicken and mushroom flavour. Oh, Pokemon win 100 prizes every week. And per half a pack, as prepared, it is 208 calories. Right, on to bready type things. I got the Asta Extra Special Super Seeded Sliced Loaf. I do love this. But to be honest, I was surprised at the calories. 131 calories per slice. But I thought just one slice of that with that soup that I showed you earlier will be lovely. Um, and I really do like it. It's, it's worth the calories because it's quite good for you having all those seeds in it as well. For Brooke, I got the pack of Pan of Chocolat. She likes to grab them in the morning on her way to school. These are 183 calories for one, which are rather high. I certainly wouldn't use 183 calories on them. And she also likes the chocolate hazelnut crepes, so I picked them up as well. And again, 138 calories for one, and there is really not a lot of eating in them at all. Okay, the sweets and treats now. I fancied getting some of the 10 cal jellies. I actually prefer the Asda's own, but they didn't have any at all, so I don't know if they stopped doing them. Um, I got one of the strawberry, and the 10 cals is... Now, that's interesting. It's called 10 cal jelly, but there's no 10 calories anywhere on it. Here, pot, it's 7 calories, not 10. There you go. So I got the strawberry flavour. I got the raspberry jam donut flavour. I nearly picked up raspberry and then I spotted that and thought, oh, probably exactly the same. And that's also 7 calories a pot. And I got the orange one, which is 5 
calories a pot, so that's even less. And also on the healthier side, I've never seen the honeycomb skinny chocolate crunch bars. So when I spotted them, I thought, oh, I need to pick them up. So guilt-free skinny chocolate crunch honeycomb. So I'm hoping that's going to be a little bit like a crunchy, flavour-wise, obviously not texture. And per bar, there's 90 calories, which isn't bad at all, is it? It says it's high in fibre. Is it really? Fibre per bar. Oh, it is actually 4.4 grams compared to the other high fibre bar that I got that was 1.5 grams. So, yeah, that's not bad. These were the bargain of the day. The gingerbread flips, obviously still in from Christmas. Down from £1.10 to 15 pence a packet. 15 pence! And they are good until July. Right, 16th of July 22. So I had to get two packets, didn't I? And calorie-wise, again, they're not bad. For a 25 gram serving, there's 122 calories. And with me not having teeth, they last me ages. So if I've got a wee 120 odd calories left at the end of the day, some of them will be lovely. Yeah, couldn't leave them sitting there, so I got two packs. I wasn't too greedy, there were others left, so if you like these, get into your Asda and pick them up for 15 pence a bag. I got Abby the four pack of the twirls, now that's the four double bars, and give twirl a whirl. These are 90 calories per finger, so 180 calories per pack, or 90 cat like per double, or 90 calories for one finger, but... I don't know, if, if you're restrained enough to open a pack and have just one finger out of a two finger pack then well done, I applaud you because I can't do that, I can't leave one little finger sitting in a packet, I need to eat it, but I mean still 180 calories for proper chocolate isn't too bad I suppose. I got the girls a pack of the six um, Freddos each. Oh, 95 calories per bar, but they are small, aren't they? I mean, compared to 90 calories for your, your honeycomb skinny crunch, but it is real chocolate. Hmm, I take it Jack picked this up. I do like white chocolate, but I'm not a, I don't really like the Cadbury white chocolate for some reason. But he picked that up as a little treat, and 30 grams is one portion, apparently. So there's 160 calories in 30 grams, or 534 calories in 100 grams, and that is a 180-gram bar. Woo! Again, I wanted to pick up some cream eggy type things because, you know, we're at the end of January now, why would we not be thinking of Easter? And I saw this, so it's got two cream eggs, two caramel eggs, and a, one Oreo egg. Oh, they'll be quite good. A wee cream egg and a wee caramel egg. Like Brickin' of the Oreo one. I'm not an Oreo fan. Right, I just actually put this through the NutriCheck app. And for the 40 gram egg, because according to this, there's four 40 grams and one 31 gram. So the Oreo egg must be the 31 gram. When you scan this, it brings up the five pack. And if you put in 40 grams for one, because it says it's 40 grams, it says it's 192 calories, I think. But if you put in cream egg separately on the NutriCheck app, it comes up as a 40 gram cream egg for 177 calories. So, I don't know. <laughs> Go with whichever one you want. They're under 200 calories anyway. Ooh, Jack's got cheesy balls. <laughs> um, these are... A sixth of a pack, 127 calories, or 509 calories per 100 grams. And finally, I got Brooks Time Out wafers. These are 106 calories in each bar. I'm not keen on these. I wouldn't waste 106 calories on them, but Brooke loves them. So that was everything that I got from Asda. I will put the final total on the screen. However, I did get um, three... Packs of Tassimo coffee for Granny Annie, so that was £10. So everything that I've just showed you is that price minus £10. So that was our grocery haul this week from Asda. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you like seeing hauls, please subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that little bell button so you're notified of any other videos that I put up. We do hauls, I'm about to film a one below in Poundland haul, I do family vlogs, product reviews, um, I'm doing weight loss things at the moment as well, so 
please subscribe and stick around for more and I will see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.